With liberty and justice for all, a beloved American slogan that is rapidly becoming a joke with dirty politicians and bureaucrats getting away with massive crimes. We can either surrender to their wicked ways and march ourselves quietly into a dictatorship, or we can fight for freedom using every constitutional weapon we have. Walt is a friend of mine who is also a retired naval officer. He's the only guy I know who can parallel park an aircraft carrier. Walt has been reminding me of the importance of the grand jury, and he has been inspiring members of grand juries around the nation to stand up, to reclaim their autonomous authority, and start issuing formal criminal accusations against government tyrants. Grand juries can order prosecutors to prosecute. Failure to prosecute criminals is what has led us to this disgusting corruption in America. Now, traditionally, the grand jury has been recognized as a law enforcement entity, but that authority has been eroded over the years to make the grand jury nothing more than a tool of the prosecutor. It's time for the American people to rediscover the power that they have in the grand jury. Grand juries all over America must cast off their slave chains and under their initiative and under their own power reclaim their constitutional authority to issue presentments. But it's going to take a lot of people getting behind this because judges and prosecutors have kept grand juries under their boot heels for years. My friend says that it is through the power of the grand jury that we the people can begin to storm the gates of hell. Now, way back in 1902, a Minneapolis grand jury hired private detectives to collect evidence, and then they used that evidence to indict and force the mayor and police chief to resign. The grand jury just might be the only tool we have left to get rid of the most wicked and corrupt government thugs. Lord knows we got to do something different because the corruption is getting worse by the day. Let's reclaim the power of the grand jury as a check and balance to do nothing prosecutors who let political corruption go on and on and on. There's going to be more to come on this topic, so stand by. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and America, bless God again.